Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install a mouse driver on MS-DOS. So first you're going to want to um, go to the link in the description and download a file. That file is the mouse driver that I made. So um, yeah, first you got to do that. And then obviously you're going to boot into DOS. You can do this on actual hardware, but um, I'm just going to do it on a virtual machine to make things easier. Um, if you're doing it on actual hardware, you're going to need to take my file that I gave you and um, and burn it onto a floppy disk. But since I'm using the virtual machine, I don't really need to do that. So, um, so after you boot into DOS, um, if you're on a actual machine, you put the floppy disk in. If you're on a virtual machine, you, um, you put the file into the virtual disk drive. So I'm going to go ahead and find mine here. It's right here. Okay, so then you want to type in A colon to switch to the floppy drive. And before I run the installer, I want to show you how I made it. Um, so yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it's a batch file, and so I had echo off, so it doesn't, so you can't see how it works unless you edit the file, and so I had these little asterisks for a nice little thing there, um, and then I said, um, uh, and then I set it for to say mouse driver installer installing drivers, and then it'll copy the file cubemouse.exe, which is the mouse driver itself. I didn't make that, but um, it it works just fine. And so it copies that from the floppy drive to um, your hard drive. And then this just sends the command cubemouse to auto execute.bat, which means that your computer will run the mouse driver on startup so that your mouse will work. And then, and then it'll um, hit and, and then it'll just have a blank spot and then it'll say installer done. And it'll have the nice little asterisk again. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run the program. So you just type setup and it'll say mouse driver installer installing drivers one file copied which is the cubemouse.exe installer done. So now you can just hit this remove and just um, restart the computer. Oh and if you're an, on an actual machine um, you take the floppy disk out and then restart the computer. Okay, so I just booted it into DOS, and you can see it's the normal stuff, and then it says Cute Mouse v, um, version 1.9 free DOS installed at PS2 port. That's base, That's the mouse driver. So um, I'll just show you the mouse driver in action here. So here's the ed, pr um, program edit. So here's the mouse. You, yeah, it's just, it's not really much of a pointer. It's just a square of text, I guess you could say. So yeah, you can, you know, you can click on things. And DOS is a lot easier using a mouse. So, yeah, that's how you use a mouse on MS-DOS. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 